Right, today is a very exciting day because if you remember my van build video, which you should of course watched, I put a box in this ceiling and that was for a projector and today I'm finally going to cut it out. I'm now going to cut out a big section for the projector screen to go into. So, I'm gonna glue this up now, stick her up there, throw some fixings in probably, and uh, leave it to dry. I'm definitely not expected to get it done all in one day because of course I've massively overcomplicated it. This projector is actually going to have a motor attached to it which then goes to this which basically com uh, controls the speed of how fast the projector goes up and down and that goes to a switch but I don't want this switch because on my little gadget board I have a up and down switch that is hopefully going to control the projector. I did it so long ago that I've kind of just got to hope that I knew what I was doing back then and just trust myself. Um, I put pencil marks on the ceiling when I did it, when I cladded the ceiling, so I'm just hoping what I did transfer over is correct. <laughs> That does not feel very reassuring because the blade went all the way through and it shouldn't have. Nothing. What did you do wrong? It's fine. Tell me. It's all good. Tell me now. I definitely got those measurements wrong. <laughs> so we're all good over here. Obviously, definitely got some sort of measurement wrong because that's further out than that. That should be halfway on it like that. And this side is a little bit longer. <laughs> yep, that's okay. The plate will cover it. <laughs> Oopsies. It was a long time ago, it's fine. I'm gonna make a little bit more noise. What, the same tool? Right? Yeah, same tool.
ったのかなえ、たぶん。すいません。<笑><笑>Uh, this is the motor on the side of the blind. Uh, when I built the box, I put a little hole there because the motor actually goes further into here. That's where the connections are for the electrics. Um, so, yeah, standard bracket there. And then modified that little bracket, which sits on that side. And it's in. So, now what I've got to do is do the connection here, find the cables in there, add that little speed monitor, let's call it that, and cut that off and put it to my switch. It's going better than I thought so far to be fair. Um, I thought it was going to be a bit more hectic than this but I'm happy so far. Okay, the connections onto this motor are, are tiny so I think I'm gonna have to do a soldered connection onto it but I can't do all of that up here it's not gonna work so I'm gonna take some cable that I've got cut I don't know maybe about 50 mil off do a soldered connections onto there with these and then I'll put some soldered connections connections joining that one up it's never simple, is it? <laughs> so I don't have any solder with me. I have got solder and iron gun um, because I bought some because I wanted to burn some wood. But anyway, what I do have was these um, connectors. And I've just taken the solder out of it. Ooh. Where did that go? I don't think I've done any soldering since school. That wasn't as easy as I remember. And it ain't pretty. But <laughs> it's on. It works. This part of it works. Wait for the electrical part, yeah? Oh, 1% battery. Yeah, it's in there. It's not lower than the ceiling, so a plate will go on here nicely. Electrics are all done this side. Time. So we've just got to the coast. Uh, it's quite, quite nice here. And I believe that is the highest point in Scotland. And that's where we're going tomorrow, because it's my birthday. I'm just finishing off the projector. And I picked up this metal plate. Uh, it's actually for like garden bedding. Uh, it's like a little fence, which you can make a border in your garden. Anyway, I've got to chop this off here with the angle grinder. And I wouldn't usually get power tools out in a place like this. But right over there, you see that old building? There's loads of builders there, banging away. So, I'm going to take full advantage of it.
I actually haven't told you, but this is not a projector screen. It is just a white blackout blind. Uh, got it off eBay. You just send them the measurements and they cut it down to limit for you. for the van. Uh, there's two things that I've still got to do and that's sort out the switch. Basically my toggle, I have to get a different one because of it has to be bi-directional. Anyway, simple little fix but we are right at the top of Scotland today and uh, there's no Amazon lockers or anything like that. The loop for the LED light to continue. Um, I'm going to pick up some solder for that and see if it works better. Um, so yeah, they're the only two things, but we've actually watched quite a few films on here now, quite a few TV shows. Really love it. The way that it uh, links up with the Bluetooth speakers in the van is perfect. And yeah, the metal plate works really great on the bottom of the projector. It's a good little weight. And well, I think we might sit down for another movie now. So thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you've got any comments, throw them down below. What is next is cutting this out. Tell me, what? thinking I took over my cotton buds box. What? My cotton buds box. I didn't break it. It's all broken and it wasn't broken the last time. So. It may have broken. got crushed in the drawer. So you did break it? Huh? It's not broken. You crushed it in the drawer. Who said I crushed it in the drawer? You literally just said you crushed it. I said it may have. May have by who? It wasn't me.